Good morning, folks. This looks like the SDO AIA 1600, except it's not. It's IRIS, the first sequence of images revealing the level of electrical interactions visible by the satellite. SDO gave us the ability to identify the physical structures that appear to give boundaries to the movement of energy near the surface, but now we can see the specific electrical interactions while maintaining visibility of fine structures like the individual filamentary penumbral region which you can see light up from time to time there. I'm going to have to add an iris section to the website, I think. Just putting it on your radar, we are two weeks till the best meteor shower of the year. I'll remind you. NOAA changed their Climate Data Online Center. I've got it linked for you below, along with an explanation of the changes. You can find information about a lot of devices, indices, trends, records, pretty much everything they've got. We got jet fuel spilled into Lemon Creek in southern BC. The White Island volcano is showing signs of increased activity, along with the Pacaya volcano in Guatemala, where small eruptions have begun. Dorian making its way towards the islands, still weak but expected to pick up a bit of strength if it survives the dry air it sucked up all night. Sunrise will give clarity, we hope, but for now the forecast tracks are just off enough to put this entire map on watch. In the Pacific, Flossie, south of Mexico, is set to hit Hawaii dead on. Still got a few days, but preparation probably needs to begin now. High pressure between Australia and New Zealand is keeping most of that induced precipitation at the southern Australian coastlines to Tasmania and the South Island of New Zealand. The heat wave we've discussed is getting worse as the low over Western Europe refuses to budge. Heat runs north to the right here constantly while it's creating evening convergence storms as well. Eyes on Arizona. A smaller low set a convergence here last night, and some areas in exceptional drought took an inch of rain in a few hours. The primary low is creating a wild temperature delta, as shown here by IntelliCast. I highly recommend their 24-hour temperature change data to see primary convergence lines. The power low right now, it's over the Great Lakes. It wants to draw in counterclockwise, so it's yanking heat and moisture north along that leading east edge while curling colder air around to meet the convergence line. That's how you get these temperature differentials and the sunset storms equalizing the energy in the air. Solar wind, little tough to read on ACE apart from a slight wane to the yellow solar wind speed, but the three-day SOHO solar wind telemetry is useful to see the breadth of the coronal hole stream. Normally drawn out compared to CMEs, like here with a density spike followed by a longer high-speed coronal hole stream. All disturbance comes with the density, so our shields are likely now in repair phase. Solar flaring is as disappointing as ever, filaments popping, but the X-ray emissions are not where solar max should have them. The cutoff leading blue positive umbra described yesterday down south is now all but gone, and the magnetic mixing in the middle appears to have produced a delta spot. Two baddies turning away. Gotta keep an eye on the new active region turning in as well. We now have four magnetic connectivity points jumping ahead to the next coronal hole, just now departing the Earth-facing disk with six connections hanging onto that same area for a ride around the backside of the sun. While one turns away, the next coronal hole wasted no time showing up. You can see the dark area up north turning in now. We had a 6.2 near Antarctica yesterday, and a few other moderate tremors including on the Canadian coastline. But this small 6, yesterday's in Vanuatu, and nearly three days without a 6 before that, means this time between coronal holes has been relatively calm, but with signs of an uptick. JPL for the next significant alignments and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.